Welcome to Real Vermont News. I'm Bob Frenier here to say somebody is finally looking into things. Today, we're looking into the astounding $4.5 billion debt Vermont must pay off to fully fund our state employee pension benefits and retiree health care benefits. Here's financial expert David Coates with more. Thanks, Bob. In June 2017, the state actuary issued a report on this huge debt, but nobody in the legislature seems willing to deal with it. The report says Vermont's combined unfunded liability has increased by over $900 million just since 2016. That's over 25% in one year, 25%. The unfunded liabilities of $4.5 billion are about three times our general fund revenues. This hole in our balance sheet is more than all our other liabilities combined. What are we doing about it? Not much. The legislature keeps distracting itself with increasing the minimum wage to unsupportable levels and legalizing pot. But meanwhile, the state missed an $85 million payment for retiree health care benefits in 2017 and that was a 57% increase over the 2016 payment. However, that payment wasn't made as well. Recently, the state has made the annual required pension payments, but in two years, that payment went up $40 million, or 29%. So if we have these 57% and 29% yearly increases in our obligations, but state revenues are projected to only continue to increase around 3.5%. Has anyone in government figured out how we're going to avoid going bankrupt and actually pay the retirement benefits to state employees? Nope. The state employee unions are asleep about this too. And it gets worse when the state projects the interest we can expect to get for the funds we have collected and invested. They fantasize we're going to get a 7.5% return. But if we budgeted for a more realistic 6.5% return, our overall unfunded liability would go up by another $600 million, the $5.1 billion, which of course will increase the amount of annual payments into the system that we will need to make by millions of dollars each year. And if we don't make those payments, our AAA bond rating will be lowered which increases the state's borrowing interest rate, which costs taxpayers more millions of dollars every year. So, if you think it's long past time to start asking hard questions about what state spending programs simply must be cut, or, heaven help us, what new taxes must be raised, like this video and click your Facebook share icon so all your friends can see it. Then, contact your state representatives and senators on contactyourrep.net and tell them, stop playing games and start paying attention to the long-term financial health of this state. And that's all the Real Vermont news we have time for. A lot more happened, and we'll be looking into all of it.